So, Sabu Lamucci has joined Nottingham Forest ahead of the 1920 Championship season. What might Forest fans want to keep in mind as pre season gets underway? The first thing would be Lamucci's lack of experience. His uh, time as a coach has been relatively short so far. He spent two years in charge of the Ivory Coast but uh, and took them to the 2014 World Cup but didn't get out the group stages there. Then spent three years in Qatar with a club side there uh, and then spent a while looking for a job in Europe, which eventually uh, took him to Rennes. And he only spent just over a year in charge with Ren, so a relatively truncated um, experience at, at a top flight European level at least. Um, as a player he played for France, got, got 12 caps and played in Ligue 1 and, and Serie A in the late 90s and early 2000s. So as a player he, he played to a decent standard but as a coach uh, lacking in experience for sure. Second thing they want to keep in mind is is his Ren record. Spent a year there as I mentioned, just over a year, which included the second half of the 17-18 season and the first half of the 18-19 season, the season that's just finished. The first half was far better than the second half. And over that course of that year, uh, his team could be rather erratic. Sometimes they could be entertaining and, and, and good to watch, relatively so at least. And other times they could be limp and, and lacklustre. The first half was far better than the second half. He took them from a mid-table team uh, to, into Europe, finishing fifth. Wabi Karajri scoring the goals. They were very good in the run-in. Uh, but it trailed automatically in the second half of that year in charge, eventually being sacked in December with the team struggling in the bottom third of the table, struggling with handing the Europa League and, and uh, league and commitments. And there was a particularly poor home for 4-1 home defeat to, to Strasbourg, which ended his reign in, in December. There are a few caveats to that, however, given that Gabi Kazri and uh, the sort of premier centre-back Joris Nyanyan were both both left the club in the summer and weren't necessarily replaced immediately. Hatton Ben Arthur came in but struggled to, to regain his fitness initially and was in and out of the team. He was meant to be Kazri's replacement and Damien De Silva came in from Khan, who perhaps isn't of the same standard as, as Nyanyan overall. So... Given the, the Europa League run and the, the change in, in personnel, there are a few caveats to the, the way it dropped off uh, there for, for uh, Lamucci. Although, uh, given that Julian Stefan, who took over from Lamucci, did so much better with the same group of players, they won the Coupe de France, they are far more competitive in Ligue 1 in the second half of, of, the, uh, of the campaign. Brilliant win at Betis in the Europa League, got out the groups, of course, under Stefan. Um, it is obviously a little bit of a, a minus point next to, the, next to Lamucci's name, but there, there may be sort of underlying factors to, to that nevertheless. Tactically, um, Lamucci played to Ren's strengths, maximised their midfield potential. Uh, Benjamin Andre is a very good league and player, been around a long time for, for Ren, was, was put to the fore as was Benjamin Burrigo. They like, end up with a nice balance in there and made an effort to, to keep the ball a little bit more to control games, um, uh, a little bit more than, than they had Previously, he played 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3, occasional flirtations with three at the back. 4-2-3-1 was mainly when Hatem Banafa was in the, the team in that second half of that year. 4-3-3 largely before that. It's likely that he'll do something of something similar at Forest in play to, play to their strengths, but also look to control the game a little bit more, which means Forest fans might see uh, a return of, of Jao, Jao Carvalho, who obviously dropped out of the team in the second half of last year. Uh, one of their more technically gifted players for sure. Um, it's likely that um, the 22-year-old, I think he's 22, will be given um, a lot more responsibility uh, under under Stefan, assuming he, he sticks around. Uh, the next thing that uh, Forest fans need to keep in mind is atmosphere. Uh, although Lamucci's a quieter, calmer presence on the touchline, he did manage to fall out with, with supposedly with, with various members of the, the Wren staff and, and, and hierarchy, mainly with the president Olivier Latong, who the disagreement over how Hatem Benaf should be treated supposedly contributed to his sacking. Uh, Hatem Benaf was considering leaving before Lamucci's sacking obviously ended up playing in that Coupe de, final, Coupe de France final win. It was very good under, under Stefan. And we interviewed Kermit Erasmus for GFFN, um, a former Wren striker who played under Lamucci, and he was pretty pretty forceful in his opinions about uh, Lamucci's lack of balls I think was the phrase that he used in, in not being able to tell him that he wasn't part of his plans anymore so there's something to keep in mind there that perhaps he wasn't able to manage the atmosphere of the club particularly well um, so something for Forest fans to keep in mind um, and uh, is it a good appointment? Um, I think overall it's, it's interesting to compare him with, with Philippe Montagne um, that uh, given that um, Montagna also came from Rennes, spent two and a half, three years there and didn't necessarily do better than, than Lamucci overall when you think about it, where they were sort of a mid-table team. Um, but they were more consistent, I suppose, uh, in spells and, and he had a much better CV, you know, finished fourth with Sociedad in, in La Liga, did well at Valenciennes before that and was more experienced and obviously it didn't go well for him at, at, at Forest. Um, but if you take it on their, take each man on their merits, on their CV and of their track record so far, um, Montagna was the slightly better appointment at the time. Um, although, Lam obviously, Lamucci 
proved in the first half of that 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 season at Ren that he he, he could cajole the team into, into some into some good displays. So there is it's it's there's still a lot of there's still hope that 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 could be repeated. But it's certainly certainly the situation he has a, a lot to a lot to prove. Obviously, no English experience to this date. So it's an interesting appointment, but um, one one to keep your eye on next season.